Hello, all. good day. It's your scratch teacher again, Matilda. Today, we are going to be learning about variables. As you can see on our um, on our screen, there is this is where we get our variables from. This is where we get our variables from. Variables are values which contain information in Scratch. And most of the information they contain are always numeric, numeric values. So you can see variables as containers that contain information. You can create variables too and you can modify them to do what you want to do. So they help you create programs. They help you to run your programs. They contain information that can help you in different ways. So let me show you an example of how you can use a variable. Now we are going to be saying the hello message with a variable and we are going to be saying it for as long as we want to. So let's see how we can do that. So we are going to say you can make a variable. You click here and then to make a variable hello, you just type hello. And there you have it we have our hello variable so let's see what we can do with that let's say when spacebar clicked we can say change hello by one Okay, and we can also say, say hello for two seconds. So let's see how that goes. Okay, you can see it. Whenever I click the space bar, our hello value changes by one. And then our sprite says hello. So this is how you can use a variable. And this is how you can use then um, the variable to create the hello message is very simple in the next class we are going to be doing something else with variables and then we'll see what else you can do with it have a nice day this is your scratch teacher again matilda you know we started on variables right so today we are going to be finishing up with that by creating a slide presentation with Scratch. So that will be very easy to do. The only thing we need to do is to create scenes and then give it an action that when we click on a button, we are going to have another scene, like different scenes, and then that becomes a slide. So first and foremost, let's choose what to do. I think we should do a slide on different animals. What do you think? Let's see. Let's see what I, what I can do. And then... You do yours too. So we we'll delete this and then let's go and choose our sprites. Okay, let's choose it here. Okay, let's start from a bat. This is a bat. Okay, and then let's, we are going to choose five different um, sprites or animals. This is a okay. This is um okay. Let's choose uh, another butterfly. Let's choose a crab. Okay. Let's also choose another one. Which one? Which one do you want to choose? Okay. Let's choose a dog. Okay. Now we have four. Okay. Let's make it five. Okay, a dragon. That looks nice. Okay, so we now have five sprites or five characters that we are going to be making into a slide. So then let's create the scene. Let's create scenes for each and every one of them and then we'll start. Okay. So first we'll say when flat clicks. Height. I want them. Oh, I want all of them to hide. So I want each and every one of them to hide. So I'll be copying this. I'll be copying this instruction to each and every of the sprites. Okay, to so the five of them. 
I'll be dropping this hide instruction there. So here we have it. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. I think that's okay. Then let's start from the beginning again and start giving our instructions for our slides. Okay. When the A key is pressed, then you show. We want it to show when we press the A key. You show. And then you say, say, say hello. I am a bat for two seconds, and then. Let's do this too. When sorry, when the B key, let's make them A, B, C, and D e in that order. When the B key is pressed, you show, and then you say. Say hello. Hello. I am a bear. Okay, that's cool. This two, we're going to be doing that two. Okay, so we are going to just copy and then change it so we can save our time. We can just copy and save and change and edit our write-ups when the B key is pressed. Okay, when the D key is pressed, say, Hello, I am a dog. Two seconds and then this one too. When the E key is pressed, you say hello. I am a dragon for two seconds. Okay, we are done with this. So let's see. Let's see what we have here. Okay. Everyone is hiding at the moment. So when we press the A key, the bat comes out. When we press the B key, the B comes out. The C key, the crab comes out. The D key, the dog comes out. And the E key, the dragon comes out. But then we have a problem. All of them are on the stage at the same time. So what we are going to do is to make every other character hide while one is on the stage. So how do we do this? So we still say, we still go back to control. So we still go back to events and say, when when a key pressed, okay, when any key pressed, can say, hi. Okay. We paste it here too. We paste it here. We paste it here too. And we paste it here too. So let's see what we have. Every, they are all hidden now. We press A key. Okay. 
I say when bt in this when the b t is pressed when the dt is pressed the any key press didn't work so that's why we are doing it this way and the bcde key is pressed so our that is going to hide when other keys are pressed for other characters to come up. So, this is the B key. When A is pressed, you have to hide. When A is pressed, you hide. When C is pressed, you hide. When D is pressed, you hide. And then when C, sorry, when E is pressed, hide. Okay. Okay, we delete this one. Okay, we still go over here and do the same thing. Okay, when this is the C key, so when the A key is pressed you should hide to the a b the b key here okay the c key sorry the d key and then the e key okay so we we check our dog we also do the same we paste it and then we change so when the a key is pressed you hide when the b key is pressed you hide when the C key is pressed to hide, and then when the E key is pressed to hide, and then we do the same also for our dragon. We paste and then we change. When the A key is pressed, hide. When the B key is pressed, hide. When the C key is pressed, hide. And when the D key is pressed, hide. So that is it. Let's see what we have. Okay, all of them are hidden now. So we click A. All right, our bat shows up. We click B. Whoa, that's nice. Our beer shows up. We click C. Our crab shows up. That's nice. We click D. Our dog shows up. Cool. And then we click E. Our dragon. Oh no, the dragon isn't coming up. What's the problem? Oh, sorry, I made a mistake. This is supposed to be D. Okay, so when we now click E, our dragon should up. So this is really nice. This is how you create a scratch um, slide. This is how you create slides with scratch. You create your scenes and then you make them to transition easily. So see you in the next class and thank you. Good day, if your scratch teacher Matilda again. So now for our last class on variables, we are going to be learning how to create and time our scenes with variables. So first of all, this is a variable. We now create a variable. Let's name it timer. You learn how to time scenes, variables, and then that is it. So let's start. When Flat means let's say set the variable to zero. So let's that's our timer variable, and then let's give it a little bit of action to when um, when space back means change variable by one. So let's see how it is. Okay. Change, sorry, you change the timer by one. So, okay, you can see our timer is changing. It's changing. So that's how you time a scene. Or you can just make it automatic by saying, 
by saying, wait one second. Okay. Let's do this in a different way. Okay, and then let's use the forever block. Let's use the forever block. Okay. Let's do that. Okay, our timer is changing on its own automatically. But then, not just that, we, we mustn't count up all the time. So let's see if we can count in the negatives. Let's change our timer to count in the negatives. So let's stop this and then set timer to 10. Wait one second and change timer by minus, minus 1. And then we can maybe add a little bit of sound. Add a little bit of sound. Okay. All right, let's see what we have here. Okay. That is really good. So that is how we can make our timer to count backwards instead of forward. So you've learned how to time your scene to count forward and you've also learned how to time your scene to count backwards. So that's the let's play it once more so that you can see. Okay. So you have learned how to time your scene. That's a very good one. So we can learn to do it. Keep scratching. See you.